Well, welcome everyone. Uh, we know it's uh, it's Wednesday, so it's busy for folks, um, and it's also busy for Sommelier, um, and busy for everybody in the Cosmos. Um, and so, shout out to the Staking Derivatives folks, um, and also the Cosmos Hub team. Uh, welcome to our uh, weekly Twitter Spaces event, um, and this is, I think, the first one in the new year. So uh, we are uh, just getting going with a ton of exciting news. So, so yeah. Go for it. I want to do, there's like some spe very specific stuff that I want people to understand. Um, so if you have been sort of watching the, the sommelier Twitter world, what have you seen? So there has been an airdrop test net site um, that has confused some of our community members um, about whether or not the airdrop was live. Um, and there has been, if you've been looking at somscan.io, um, you'll see some pretty important governance proposals um, that are happening there. And if you've been watching our GitHub, um, you've been seeing a lot of debugging and software releases. So I want to try and map all of these things together into uh, an, an integrated story about what's happening here. So one of the big things that happened right before we uh, took a break for uh, for the holidays was that we uh, we got a working end-to-end -end test of the, of the Uniswap V3 rebalancer. And I'm calling this... Um, uh, so we had a working integrated end-to-end -end test, and that really cleared the path for the network upgrade. We also uh, sort of completed our work on our latest release of the orchestrator, um, and we completed uh, the work on, um, uh, yeah, we completed the, or the allocation module work, we completed the orchestrator work, um, we co completed updating the solidity contracts, uh, we completed the uh, snapshot analysis from volume by. So all these pieces have been together, and we, as we started the new year, um, we've been working really hard to put all of this together. Um, so what the key pieces that we're putting together are, um, the key pieces that we've been putting together so far have been uh, one. Um, so like, what is that? So the, the the airdrop procedures is has a lot of operational complexity to it. Um, so one of the first things that needs to happen, so two, there are a bunch of dependencies that have to happen, be resolved uh, in order for this airdrop that was in SIP002 uh, um, to actually be executed. So one thing that has to happen is funds need to move from the community pool, um, which is funding the airdrop into uh, uh, funding, which is funding the airdrop into, uh, into a, a staging address. Um, the staging address will then interact with the gravity bridge and IBC to actually execute the airdrop. Um, there's all the normal things that you have to do to sort of interact with the Osmosis and Kepler stacks, um, and we need to take care of those uh, moving pieces. Um, we need to, um, uh, we need we have to uh, uh, take the uh, Merkle uh, distributor contract that is sitting on testnet and deploy it on mainnet. Um, we have to instantiate the SOM ERC-20 tokens on the newly updated Gravity Bridge. Um, and so all of these pieces are sort of being uh, tackled one after another uh, as we go through them. Um, and so is there a specific magic day when all of this stuff will come together? Uh, I can't guarantee one. Uh, they're all just moving. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's pieces of work as... But uh, the end state will be the airdrop will finally come together. Um, the other piece that you know was you you would have caught in my uh, uh, little spiel about where we are is that we need to upgrade uh, the gravity bridge. Uh, so one of the things that we're doing is we've we've had a gravity bridge running in mainnet um, for several months since October. Uh, it hasn't been doing very much; it's just been sitting there. Um, but it has been getting more experience about running the relayer software. Um, and the orchestrator software and getting the validators uh, more comfortable with what we've got. Um, and so we have the full, so uh, where we are on the, uh, uh, but what we're doing right now um, is that we have built a new version of the gravity bridge uh, solidity. We are abandoning the old bridge um, and we are redeploying this new bridge, uh, which will be the new bridge. And that will be the bridge where the canonical, um, SOM token is uh, is is instantiated on Ethereum uh, to enable the Ethereum side of this airdrop. Um, so these are all a lot of moving pieces. Um, and then the software will have the capacity uh, to run a Uniswap V3 rebalancer. Um, 
but it will not actually, uh, it's going to require the validators to get set up. It's going to require uh, a governance proposal about what, you know, pair we're going to start out with. Um, and so that all of that system needs to come online as well. Um, and so we're bringing all of these pieces together. Um, that is the sort of core of the technical work right now. Um, we lots of progress is being made. Uh, we have a we have an upgrade release. We're pretty much ready to go there. And uh, yeah, um, so we're we're looking at an upgrade. Probably uh, it seems like the chain current chain will halt probably on Friday um, uh, because no one is really using the chain. There's no reason for validators to get stressed out and try and do a Friday uh, software update. And so most likely it will be Monday uh, that we have the upgrade done. Uh, the funds should be in the staging account also um, by Friday, uh, which will be good. Um, uh, but like we won't actually start bridging them over until the upgrade is completed on uh, early next week. Uh, awesome. That was a, I mean, I know that was a lot you just shared in a short period of time. Um, quick question for you. We have validators who want to come and join the Similia network. Uh, what's the what? What should validators in the broader community who are currently not in the Similia network expect uh, once the chain upgrade goes live and and the tokens are are now released? So we are not going to make it easy yet to join the validator network, but once the tokens are out there, we are going to be able to stop anyone who figures out how to uh, crawl through no man's land, uh, jump over the barbed wire, avoid the machine gun nest. Um, and uh, get their way into the validator set. We're not going to be able to stop anyone. Um, and, you know, if you've managed to get through all of that, you certainly deserve to be here, um, and we will provide tech support um, uh, on the on the Relayer software. We're really, uh, one of the things that is, is going to be really key is that the software is going to enable this, like, sort of new thing where validators are getting these seller strategists, uh, sending them data that then... Uh, becomes it's almost like kind of a, a reverse oracle where the validators rather than being the uh, queriers of data that gets put on chain, they become the receiver of data that, that gets put on chain. Um, we've created a whole authentication flow for all of this um, and running this in a distributed setting is going to be pretty interesting. Um, and so, you know, uh, uh, the reason we haven't been very aggressive about onboarding validators is we have a lot of new software that validators uh, have never run before and that we've never run in a distributed setting um, that we're running on this network. And we are, uh, you know, trying to keep uh, trying to keep this manageable for the time being. Awesome. And and um, just to be clear, when you say run through barbed wire and, and crawl through fences, um, uh, uh, is there any more color to that that you want to share right now or, or something that will sort of evolve as people, you know, once tokens are distributed on these various networks? Uh, I think part of the barbed wire is not explaining how to do it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, but, uh, to reach. I, I, there you I, go. I, I, believe they, I believe they call that uh, validators and blockchain. <laughs> they, they will find a way. I, I, I believe they call that uh, security through obscurity. Um, <laughs> well, shockingly, um, you know, everyone always says security through obscurity never works, but, you know. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, and so um, I think uh, one of the, the things, um, you know, uh, folks are asking as well after we, we look at the validator community is, um, you know, coming to, you know, the sommelier and the, the proposed sellers, um, you know, should folks be looking to sort of um, explore how to make proposals? And if somebody wanted to make a proposal, about new sellers and learn about it, you know, where would, should we tell them to go? Should we say, hey, um, you know, continue to look at our blog. I know you have some documents you're creating. Maybe you want to take a peek at when those um, are available so that folks can learn more yeah, about the we ecosystem. Have been, we have been putting together documents explaining how to run a seller from a validator's perspective. I think those documents will be hugely educational for anyone who wants to propose a future seller because um, it'll start covering sort of the big moving pieces. Um, and uh, that is something we want to, you know, we're, I think we're, we're focusing a lot of our operational resources and getting the airdrop done. Um, but the next stage is really the, uh, um, is the next stage is real, uh, is really invade, inviting the, the, the community to bring us as many sellers as possible. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, and I think uh, maybe one of the questions, I, I know that um, things are happening in the community on osmosis 
doing cool things with Cosmosm. Um, you know, folks have asked, you know, are we partnering with us? You know, will we be partnering with other, you know, sort of Cosmos related entities? I don't know if you had any views on that, given, you know, the coming upgrade or whether those things may be, you know, things yet to discover and see how they arise as we progress through through the month. Um, this upgrade is very focused on Ethereum sellers. Um, yep. And uh, so, uh, you know, we, we are, we, it, it would be a future upgrade to enable doing something on Cosmos and uh, on us, those for instance. Got it. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Hey, Jack, I saw that you're here. I didn't know if you, um, given the upgrade stuff coming, any thoughts you had um, on the progress so far and things that we still have to get done? Oh, you know, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, just very excited to see this code live <clears throat> and uh, looking forward to sort of uh, live sellers here. Uh, we're going to be doing this upgrade. And as Zaki mentioned, there's a fairly extensive process to get these sellers live. So uh, looking forward to working on that on the production chain here. Um, yeah. This is the culmination of quite a bit of work we've done for a while and is yep. the first of many. Um, this the work that we've done, especially on the testing front um, in, in the QA front, is going to be broadly reusable. And I'm really excited to use that foundational work that we've done. Um, and, you know, I, I, I do also think that uh, in terms of that testing stuff, people are starting to build these really complex multi-chain apps. And yep. there's I don't know of any other teams that, that have this sort of te forward testing, forward looking testing approach that we do. Um, with the the docker based work we've done so um very excited to to be able to sort of leverage that as the basis for the next set of sellers and products yep, yep. Um, enable much quicker iteration moving forward so uh yeah no just excited and proud of the work the team's done and excited to get it out there yeah agreed agreed and aligned and aligned and agreed uh okay zucky quick change in topic you're in in uh saint moritz uh any interesting folks you've met um, while you've been on the road? Any uh, things you've seen in the crypto space that um, from, you know, chatting and connecting with folks there that you might want to share with us uh, from your perspective? Um, probably my most exciting conversation was with uh, uh, Ian, who is the new head of sellers of Ledger's consumer business. Uh, okay. we, had a, we had a, I had a long therapy session with him explaining all of the pain points <laughs> of being a Ledger power user. <laughs> Um, so that was super fun, uh, and hopefully we'll uh, we'll we'll see some benefits for what I'm sure is many Ledger users in our current audience. Um, Correct. Uh, we we definitely have you know Ledgers are a great product. Um, yeah, uh, you know the it's it's it is uh, this is an interesting event. It has Bitcoiners. It has uh, it has the altcoin community. It has you know a lot of people who have Swiss foundations. Uh, all in this gorgeous mountaintop on top of Switzerland, uh, in Switzerland, uh, uh, talking about uh, talking about what's happening in in the industry. And and is is the sentiment there? Um, you know that uh, it, it's still uh, all boats rising um, in spite of you know market values dropping, or is it uh, is it a more of a sense of soberness and and um, expectation of uh, the cosmonauts times? are unaware of this dropping that you speak of <laughs> <laughs> they are <laughs> yes they are <laughs> they, they they definitely are um price of atom continues to buck every trend um any thoughts on why that is happening from your perspective yeah uh, I, you know the the world is finally catching up to what uh zucky realized back in 2015 2016 and what the Cosmos community as a whole has, has known for a really long time, which is that the way to scale blockchains to billions of users is to decouple the state machines and have app-specific chains. This is the only way to keep fees low. This is the only way to reduce network contention. Um, and as it's becoming increasingly obvious with uh, all of the Cosmos chains just repeatedly getting out there, drawing in new users, offering a much better user experience, um, people are starting to realize that and the market's waking up to that. Um, <laughs> as someone who's been working on this for years, uh, it, it's it's really cool to see. And I will say that there's definitely been a kind of sea change in the tone of the discussion around Cosmos and a, and a much broader uh, recognition yeah. that this scaling method is is the way to go. 
Um, seeing Vitalik sort of repeatedly mention Cosmos scaling as the way to go is also uh, really cool. <laughs> Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and, and I agree. And, and absolutely. So very exciting that other things are coming. So, so is it your thought that Vitalik agrees with the, the Cosmos view of, of things? So Jack? I mean, the, the difference between the Cosmos view and Vitalik's view, just to, like get into the weeds, has been Vitalik's view has always been that, like end users cannot reason about like the security of different validator sets. Um, uh, and, you know, that like, you know, having this heterogeneous mix of people securing the network um, was going to sort of, you know, provide like uh, a lot of different, you know, uh, a, a venue of users getting rugged that they are not prepared to handle. And, you know, those concerns are real um, and those concerns are important. But the other, you know, the other thing that I think has been, you know, that really has mattered quite a bit is just you know, Tendermint works, it's mature, uh, you know, as we start to ship more smart contract platforms on top of, 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 of Tendermint, uh, the, 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 the fact that Tendermint works re so reliably um, really opens up a lot of opportunities for building on top of it. Um, and the fact that IBC works so reliably and provides such a good user experience uh, really creates a huge number of opportunities for building on top of it, uh, where people don't have to worry about, you know, as as we as we are experiencing with Sommelier, like maintaining a bridge is a lot more complicated than using IBC because of all of the work that has been gone in uh, to IBC so far. And it is is it is nice to see the market sort of waking up to realizing, oh, there really is something important that is happening uh, here. That this is might be the the mature scaling solution that the industry needs right now, uh, while we wait for things like rollups to mature. Got it. Got it. So, so you do believe that Vitalik's view that bridges may not be the ultimate future is simply that bridges are a, a necessary progress to, to uh, before the maturity of the of the L2s. Yeah, and like, I think it's a really interesting question about whether or not IBC is a bridge. Um, mm, okay. Uh, uh, I think IBC, you know, IBC needs bridges to interact with things like Ethereum and Bitcoin. Um, but I feel like IBC is actually kind of in a category unto itself right now. Um, and so, you know, there's that. It's an, it's an interop protocol that is somewhat in its own category. Um, Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That, and, and, the, and we don't know the future. So uh, let's, uh, let's see how it goes. All right. So let me see uh, any questions from the community. We're now coming down to a five minute mark before we wrap up. Uh, any folks want to raise their hand with a question for us uh, to question about uh, the coming upgrades, validator sets, new features, new sommelier, which has been codenamed Cabernet Franc. Uh, so um, if you're curious, it's a very, very cool code name. Um, and Jack, have you had a Cab Cabernet Franc recently or um, any special Cabernet Franc recommendations? Uh, you know, I, I do love some good Cab Francs. It's a nice round grape. Um, you know, the, the the central coast of California where I live now is uh, definitely a lot of uh, Rhone grapes getting grown here. So uh, I have had a few Cab Francs lately. Um, Very nice. A, a little bit lighter <laughs> body than your Cab Sauce you're going to see. Um, mm -hmm. but, you know, really deep uh, flavor profiles, often used in uh, really high quality blends. So, uh, yeah, 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 Cab Francs. Um, right, I see a great. lot of folks, uh, a lot of folks from the community here. So uh, thank you everyone for showing up. Um, and yeah, please, I any questions, we're happy to kind of dig into those pieces. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, I think that's it for now. Uh, thanks, folks. Thanks all who came. Thank you, community, Cosmos, Sommelier, um, IBC, Osmosis, and uh, Uniswap, Ethereum community members, and all those who joined. Again, keep up with us on sommelier.finance. Uh, Absolutely. Blog and all our, right. Well, I think that's community. it for now. Uh, thanks, folks. Thanks all who came. Thank you, community, Cosmos, Sommelier. Uh, <laughs> that was wild. And uh, we will see you guys next week as we have yet more updates to come. All the best. Have a good week.